Well, our next guests are a true reflection of why dogs really are man's best friend. Ralphie, the Dogue de Bordeaux, also known as French Mastiff, is about to turn five years old and is a whopping 80 kilograms. Oh, Ralphie's owner Dylan said his love for the drooly breed was inspired by the adventures, uh, adventures of Tom Hanks in the movie Hooch. The pair spend most of their time together. So cute. Uh, with the lovable hound helping Dylan to overcome his PTSD. And Ralphie joins us live in the studio with Dylan. Good morning. Good morning Welcome guys. Back. Hello. Uh, take us back when you uh, first got Ralphie. Were you prepared for him to be this big? Um, I mean, I saw his father, and his, his dad was pretty big, but I think he's one of the biggest uh, French Mastiffs I've seen yeah. in Australia so far. Yeah. So. Look at the size of those paws. Oh, look at him, he's gorgeous. Uh, so did it really come from the movie, Hooch? Uh, I did, I remember seeing uh, uh, yeah, Turner and Hooch like, yeah. back in the day, and a couple of my friends in um, Sweden and America had, had uh, the French Mastiffs. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just decided one day I'm gonna get that dog. What sort of commitment are we talking about here? Because this isn't a little dog, a little lap dog that's going to sit there and watch the morning show with you on the couch every day. And... Yeah. Well, he thinks he's a lap dog. That's that's the downside. <laughs> yeah, right. I How's your lap? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I mean, you know, there's a fair bit of commitment, uh, especially with the, the heat and the cold. You know, they don't, they yeah, don't yeah, do yeah. too well in the heat. Uh, but look, I think you know what you put into your dog, time, effort, socialising, paddle boarding, these guys see on the TV now, um, and uh, and the food, raw diet, I think, you know, the more they get, the happier they are, and the more they get out of yeah. it. Yeah. He's, he's just beautiful. Um, you do some pranks uh, with him, and, and you've dressed him up, you dressed him up. Yeah, I'll see if I can get it on yeah. now. So, Actually, we need to see him stand up, because he's, he's glorious up. when he's up. Up, mate, come on up. Glorious. He's glorious. Look, he needs yeah, look. Yeah. Down, good oh. boy. Look at the look at it. So we uh, had this mane we saw on TV a couple yeah. of years ago. Mm. Right. And uh, especially because he's so big. Oh, there goes his ears up there. Here he is. So, it's like, it's like... Ralph, you look. <laughs> That's great. And this scares people, right? Yeah. So we came back. I actually uh, put, put some stripes on him and dressed him up as a liger. Look at that. There's the picture. And what sort of reaction did yeah, you get right, with that? Yeah, that's it. So he's the liger. So that was the day of a, a charity walk. And, yeah. Um, yeah, go, good boy. He's, and he's uh, we chucked him in the back of my truck because that's where he sits, not in yeah. my car. Yeah. And uh, I pulled into my workplace and the cops pulled in with me. And yeah, basically they, they pulled us and we thought you literally had a lion on, on the back of your car. And they took a few, you know, snaps and they were just like, just totally so confused beautiful. what was going on, yeah. Really, really uh, we we, like, we said in the intro, do you, uh, the, that you credit him with uh, overcoming your post-traumatic stress. Yep. How, how did that happen? Well, I, I suppose I, I fought in Thailand uh, doing Muay Thai, that's my, been my career for, mm -hmm. you know, over a long time now, 15 years, yeah. and I came towards the end of my career of, of fighting and that's a hard thing to do for any fighter. Mm. And uh, I started driving an ambulance there and doing rescue work and, you know, just local volunteer work and obviously got to see a lot of things I probably didn't mm. want to see. Um, so I came back when I was about 30 and I uh, decided I need a little bit of grounding. So I got the biggest dog I could find. You got a lot of right. ground here. Ralph. Now Ralph is a mini celebrity in your area and That's he's right. making an appearance at the Sydney Dog Lovers Show. That's right. Right, how exciting. So what advice do you have uh, for people uh, about thinking about welcoming one of these guys into the family? What do they need to do? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there's enough of these around. I barely see the, the dog dibbledos around. Um, Barimba's my breed. I, I'll definitely get a couple more from them when I, when I, when I can afford it, <laughs> yeah, especially right. the food. The food. Um, but look, you know, like any dog, you know, um, what you put in, you get out of it and, you know, <laughs> just be prepared to give it a lot of attention and a lot of loving because they only love their, their owners. They're, they're social, but they love their owners a lot. So yeah, you need right. to spend a lot of time with them. Yeah. yeah. I, I, can I say, yeah, I think he's very impressed with his outfit this morning. No, he's never really impressed with anything <laughs> I do with him, right? <laughs> he's just going, I mean, he's with an Instagram star as well, so we can find him on Instagram, right? That's right. Fantastic. Thank you Thanks. so much. Nice, nice to meet you, Ralphie. Ralphie. Not impressed. Yeah, not impressed. Not yeah, impressed. Not impressed no. <laughs> For more information on the Sydney and Brisbane Dog Lovers Show, uh, we can meet all of the gorgeous dogs you saw on screen, and, and Ralphie, of course, you can head to our website. <laughs> very, very impressed.